Okay, now it's time to talk about my thoughts on Judith Collins. Well, she's a formidable operator, obviously. But do you trust her? Do you really trust Judith? For so long, the National Party MPs didn't. But you know, but you know, with one disaster after another, it was the last man, in this case woman, standing. Judith, come save us. You know, those MP, National Party MPs, the reason they chose Judith is they decided she was probably the best option that would help save their jobs on 19 September. But if you really want to know what's the real Judith like, I guess if you go back to the story starting in 2011, Oravita Milk Company. Now, Judith's husband, um, David Wong Tung, um, was a director, um, as I understand um, from Trevor Mallard's comments in the house back then, on five Oravita companies for two years. Trevor um, upset Judith mightily by accusing um, Judith's husband of receiving half a million dollars, $500,000 um, from Oravita. His maths was, well, directors get paid about 50 grand a year. They were, um, he was on five directorships for Oravita and for two years. So five times two times 50 grand, Trevor came up with 50,000. Judith, um, not surprisingly, she was outraged. How dare you say that's not true? And Trevor quite reasonably said, well, then provide the evidence that I'm, that I'm not telling you the truth, the reality. And if you do that, I'll apologize. And Trevor has not yet had to apologize because Judith, for whatever reason, did not come up and disprove Trevor. Maybe it was only 490,000, not 500,000, I don't know. But I got Oravida. Let's see, here we go. This is from News Hub. In 2011, Oravida donates $56,600 to the National Party. Now, as long as I've declared, that's not illegal. And then in October 2013, Judith opens the Oravida's New Auckland headquarters. And I guess that's not surprising, given her husband is one of their directors. Did that as a favor. Just before she went to China on a trip for um, um, law reform, I think it was, um, Justice Matters. But somehow, while over there, she found time to have dinner with the Oravida bosses, along with a senior Chinese border official this was, um, in Beijing. This is the dinner was in Beijing. She claimed it was a personal dinner. I'm sorry, Judith. When you are having dinner with a senior Chinese border official, there's no such thing as a personal dinner. And surprise, surprise, um, Oravida bosses were there. And even greater surprise, they started using photos of Judith endorsing Oravida products. And according to Judith, it was just a personal dinner. She didn't understand anything. She said it's all done in Mandarin. Like, sorry, Judith, I call BS on that. No, I was a minister once upon a time. I went to China. And everywhere you go, you have an interpreter with you. Official dinner, private dinner, doesn't matter. You have an interpreter with you because you're not going to sit next to that senior um, Chinese border official while he rattles off in Mandarin and they're going to ignore the guest of honor. You know, so sorry, I don't take your so-called explanation, not even with a grain of salt. And that was on the 20 October 2013. Then on October 23rd, when she was supposed to be at this law conference, I believe, she decided, I mean, she was leaving that day, I understand, and they stopped by at Oravita headquarters on the way to, I presume, Pudong Airport to fly back to New Zealand. She said she didn't realize they had detoured. Well, you know, 
from what I understand from where you went, you went from here, you drove over here about for an hour to Oravida, then drove back the way you came to the airport. So don't tell me that you're unaware that they had done a detour. You know, unless you're blind, you knew damn well that it was a detour to Oravida headquarters. And and again, surprise, surprise, December 23rd, 2013, guess what? Oravida makes a lovely $30,000 donation to the National Party. Gee, that's pretty good. You know, you get your husband on the board there and um, he opens doors. And Oravida, actually, the, the senior board official, uh, New, Zealand, uh, New Zealand companies, milk companies were having problems because of the... Um, all that terrible stuff with the milk powder that had been um, contaminated. There were huge checks, but surprise, surprise, Oravita's products flowed through, no problem. Other competitor, competitor uh, producers here in New Zealand, their products, bottled the same things as Oravita, selling the same product, flowed, oops, no, we're not taking yours. Oravita, okay, not a problem. And so you wonder why um, people were suspicious. So, yeah. And oh, by the way, the Prime Minister, um, Prime Minister Sir John Key, wasn't overly impressed either. She was sent away on an official sickie, you know, go rest and recover and hide yourself for a few weeks while, while we um, deal with the fallout. So anyway, those are my thoughts on Judith Collins.